Okay, so there's no way this can be categorized as soft porn, but as I focus purely on the plot, I'll do it anyway. This is Top Guns. I'm Jay Harang and I talk about soft porn and stalker movies. You should subscribe. First we meet two Air Force pilots, Bandit and Blue. They're doing some training exercise and it's target practice for the boys, Styles and Papa. I'm hungry, Papa, let's eat. Alter them any of your styles. Was my favorite. Brilliant. But Bandit's not happy being target practice all the time. She wants her moment in the sun. The captain really isn't impressed by this behavior at all. But Bandit has turned the tables on the boys and shoots them with her imaginary missile. That's how we do it. The captain is livid. He's like, your reckless behavior could have cost the Air Force millions of dollars. But the head civilian coordinator of Top Guns has decided, along with Stars and Papa, these two are going to be invited to compete against the very best. The best naval aviators God has ever seen. So don't fuck it up. Yes, sir. So Bandit sets off on a motorbike to Top Guns Academy. The first thing is in a classroom, and here we meet Commander Jensen. Now, I know you don't expect great acting in films like this, as the actors are hired for their other talents, but this Commander Jensen is awful. Just Jensen would be fine. Jensen then introduces them to the bestest pilot in the history of the world ever, Gunman. The best damn naval aviator in the world. He's there to compete against them as well as to teach them. After class, there's a load of sexist banter, but these girls give as good as they get. Yeah. In the corridor, Commander Jensen starts telling this woman, Vegas, that he disagrees with women in the military. My opinion of women in the military is at best a distraction. Gunman has come to check on his planes, and here we meet the mechanic, Spice. Very pretty. You've been hammering them pretty hard, Gun. I like to fly them hard. You're hard. Cut to Bandit and Blue at this bar. Blue's like, we better not drink too much Bandit as we're flying tomorrow. Come on, I'm the best. Oh, okay then. These two girls are Hollywood and mystery. Uh, very pretty. There's a real who's the best thing going on between Hollywood and Bandit. And this guy, Everhard, has his eye on Bandit. So he follows her into the bathroom and then they bang. It turns out Everhard is Hollywood's ex-boyfriend, so that's going to cause some tension. Next day at flying practice, Gunman is destroying them because Bandit is hungover. Funny because I don't recall Bandit having more than a couple of sips of her beer prior to the bathroom incident. Hollywood and Mystery, on the other hand, managed to beat the Gunman. Very impressive indeed. But the boys still aren't convinced. So these chicks think they can fly, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently not then. The yeah. chicks, man. On the stairs, the girls tell the boys about how they managed to beat Gunman. But you guys are girls. <laughs> the rest of the girls are angry with Bandit for not taking flying seriously. This is the first time female pilots been allowed into Top Guns Academy, and Bandit doing badly reflects badly on all of them. There's a chance for the girls to get some revenge now, as there's a volleyball game. If these female pilots were unconvincing beforehand, the lack of any hand-eye coordination would seriously worry me considering they're supposed to be flying fighter jets. The boys inevitably batter them, and for good reason. They're bigger, faster, stronger. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. But Vegas comes in afterwards and says, right, stop losing to the boys. Start working as a team. And they're all on board. They're going to put their differences aside and work together. And it immediately pays off because the next day they win. Good flying out there today, girls. After that, Mystery bumps into Papa. She's like, what are you reading? And then they bang. Then Blue goes into this bar and orders telepathically because the barman is a non-speaking extra. She sees this guy there whose name I don't know. How's it going? Seems to be going pretty well. And then they bang. Hollywood goes into the changing rooms and she's like, oh, hi, Styles," and then they bang. Unfortunately, while Styles was carrying on with all that business, he was actually supposed to be out flying. What an idiot. <laughs> it would seem that our jets don't fly themselves. So he and Papa have been disqualified. Oh, no. So Vegas tells Bandit and Hollywood that their two teams are in the lead, and now it's going to come down to an all-female battle for the victory. Good luck and fly hard. So today is the big day and the girls are ready for action. Spice tells them she's spiced up their jets, so they'll be going extra fast today. Okay. Yeah. So while they're up there trying to win the competition, Jensen gets a visit. Sir, we've got a problem. Pentagon's on line one. Somehow, there are North Korean fighter jets attacking them. What? It seems none of the other pilots on the ground can do anything about this apart from sit there and shake their heads. Really? One of the North Koreans is about to take out Hollywood. Luckily... Hello. 
Then Bandit's got one following her. So Hollywood returns the favor. And that's the North Koreans finished. There were only two of them. Oh, I see. So everyone on the ground is celebrating. When the girls get back, the guys are like, we've got so much respect for you now. Let's all go and get some beers. Hollywood's like, yeah, we'll catch you up in a minute. Us girls have something to do. Hey, gunman, we need to talk to you. Yeah, what is it? You still think you're the ace pilot around here? Yeah, I do. And you guys did a good job up there. I'll fly with any of you anywhere, anytime. You ready to fly, gunman? You ever refuel the plane in midair? Of course. You make it in the hole every time. I'm always on target. And then they bang. All of them. In Jensen's office, he and Vegas have decided that the competition is a tie between the two girls' teams, and he's totally changed his mind about women fighter pilots. Yeah. Right. He's like, so now that I agree with women fighter pilots, do you want to go for a drink in the officer's club? Frankly, I was kind of hoping for something a little more private. And then they bang. Now it's the presentation and Jensen gives Bandit and Hollywood their winner's medals. Hey, uh, how about some beers? I'm buying. No, I'm buying the first round. No, I am buying the first round. And I'll get the one after that. And that's the end of the film. So until next time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe and check out this other video. Thank you.